Hello and welcome. Today we are going to show you a demo of Juniper's plugin for OpenStack Quantum. This demo is based on the SX release of OpenStack. The setup for the demo includes three servers connected to Juniper's data center switches. We have two compute nodes on which virtual machines will be scheduled. We also have a server that is running Quantum Server as well as the OpenStack controller. For the demo, we will be creating two virtual machines, one on each compute node. Then we will do ping tests to show the network configuration on these virtual machines. The Juniper Quantum plugin uses VLANs to provide layer 2 network for the OpenStack tenants. We are also using OpenV switch to support the virtual network. Since we are using SX release for the demo, the OpenStack dashboard cannot be used to invoke Quantum API. So we have created a simple web page to create a quantum network and to associate a VM with that network. As you can see, a quantum network has been created and it is given a UUID. We can also see that the VLAN there is a VLAN associated with this particular network. We will be using this UUID when we create a virtual machine. The Junos CLI shows that the VLAN has been created as part of create network operation. At this point, no ports has been associated with the VLAN. Now we are going to create a virtual machine on this network. For the demo, we are using a predefined virtual machine. We can see from the OpenStack dashboard that the virtual machine has been created and it is being powered up. The ping results show that the VM now has internet connection. We can see that the OpenV switch is now configured and the same VLAN ID is now associated with it and the virtual machine is bound to a TAP interface on this V switch. On the Juno CLI, we can also see that the physical port is now bound to the same VLAN as that of a V switch.
we will now create another virtual machine. We have now seen that the second virtual machine also has internet connection and we were also able to ping from one VM to another. The Juno CLI output shows that there are two TORs and two different ports which are now configured on the same VLAN. That's all we wanted to share with you today. Hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.